Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, hope you're doing well. Um, I just thought I'd jump on quickly. Uh, it's the end of the day on a Sunday. Um, I've not had, personally, the best few days. Um, you know, not that that's any of your problem. Um, but the basic kind of thought I had was, I'm just going to give you a bit of a shop tour, because why not? It'll make me feel better. Um, and you know, who doesn't love it? Um, so this is... Oh wait, we'll go down the end and I'll show you. Hold on. So this is it here. Um, this is like where you walk in the front door. Um, that's like a hologram, but it doesn't show up on the camera for some random reason. So that's my hologram. It's pretty cool. Walk in here, and then you're like, oh, cool. Big mate is here. So we've got Jeremy, the red Oscar. Got the black ghost knife with no name. Um, we've got a bunch of Featherfin Cynodontis. Cynodontai. Uh, I think there's five. Got a Geophagus Tarpos and a Green Severum. Um, so everybody is just doing their thing, all happy, happy. Um, so yeah, that tank is probably um, one of my favorites, although it's probably not as much of a showstopper as it probably should be, being the first one that's in there. But um, that's a problem for later, basically. Then we come over here and we have our Neolamprologus Brevis um, Shell Dwellers. Yes, there's Sino, yes, there's Green Hero, yes, there's probably more, but I don't particularly care. This one's actually just uh, kind of a bit of a spawning tank, mainly. Um, so, like, there's one of our fry there. Focus. Random. There's one there. Um, there is more. I don't know where they are, but hiding because I'm trying to take a picture of them, probably. Um, but, yeah, so there's those ones. This is kind of just a random hodgepodge community tank. I'm not a fan, um, massively to be honest. I do have some plans for it um, that hopefully I can put into action next week, but we'll have to see how we go. Um, but that's it there. Um, it's cool, it's it's fun, it's easy. Um, I don't really have to think about it. Everyone seems to like it, so it's the main thing. Just do a water change uh, a couple of times, once or twice a week, and she's she'd be right. Uh, oh, I should say I did throw in food just put into a lot of these tanks before I decided to do this video, so they will have made a mess in a few of them, but yeah, this is our rare and burner. Um, well, not rare strictly, but fancy and burner. Um, so we've got um, red top lycoma, uh, mpanga, and red fin trophy ops, and a couple albino zebras plus the synodontus lucipinus. Um, plus a couple of bristle noses, so yeah, these guys are all very cool. Um, this is one of the tanks I'm super vibing with at the moment, it's one of my favourites. Um, I just think it's so much fun, and I can't wait for them to grow. And actually, I am really loving the helicopter look. Uh, it's not probably the most popular option, but I love it. Um, here we've got our, uh, Tangyikin tank, another Tangyikin tank. This one's a uh, Jolodochromus Dickfeldi, plus there's a few Neolamprologus Brevis in here. The Brevis will be moving eventually when I get round to it to a new tank um, that has not been established yet. But I will figure out a new tank for them one day because I want to just... Oh, here's my Brissonniers. But I do want to keep just a, like heaps of plants. Whoa. And just like a... The way I describe it to everybody who asks is I want just like an irresponsible amount of jewelries. Just like a swarm. They're just so cool and they do have a special place in my heart as one of the first Tangyikins I ever kept. Uh, I just think it's really cool. Then down below, we've got the uh, Geophagus Tapahos grow out um, for a bunch of fry. Well, probably not fry anymore, but there were fry once upon a time. They get in there, just slow and steady, you know, patience. Um, Got to stick with it, but they get in there. Uh, you know, they're not the world's fastest growers, but I'm really happy with these guys. One of my favorite fish. Just, yeah, can't beat them really. Up here we've got Frank the Tank, the axolotl, who seems to have come out of his pipe for the first time ever because he thinks it's food time. But you ate yesterday, big fatty, so not today. Um, just got a bunch of rocks and fake leaves, some some fake leaves, some real plants, PVC pipe. Nothing crazy, but simple but effective is the kind of the name of the game there. I will slowly turn the camera. I haven't figured out how to do this, but I'll slowly turn the camera so you guys don't get motion sick because that's something people have told me they want me to do more. Um, but this is this tank. I know there's algae growing on the glass, but I don't particularly care, to be honest. Like, I'll clean it when I clean it. I'll clean it tomorrow. But 
There's cherry barbs, epistogramma cockatoides, stirby cories, albino cories, probably some other stuff I've forgotten, but yeah, that's about it. Plants, and that's, that's yeah, that's about it. Nothing too crazy, but, you know, effective. Um, that tank was running CO2, by the way. So here's our, this is the, one of the product shelves. We're a bit light on the moment at the dry, on the dry goods, but uh we've still got plenty to go around so there's the testing stuff um all the different test kits on the right we got the algae cleaners dechlorinators i don't know what this shelf is this shelf needs sorting it's just a bunch of random stuff but we got egg tumblers someone's moved that oh so it's sunday afternoon so i haven't tied it up you know customers pick it up and then put it down and it falls down and stuff so you'll see random stuff all over the place but breeding slash plant slash temperature stuff just kind of random uh got the eheim air pumps uh best air pumps around substrates more substrates uh activate this is like activated carbon um oyster shell we because particularly in this area we get a lot of very low khs and a lot of ph crashes so that's my go-to for people dealing with those problems ear um ear equipment slash nets slash I need to organize these shelves better so that makes sense. But yeah, air equipment slash random bits and pieces, plant stuff, aqua soil, fertilizers, uh, medication slash plant stuff. Got your salt. Oh, if anyone's wondering what this is, uh, it's just a box of rocks that I use to lean up the salt against so people can see. But obviously we've sold out of the big size of the salt that normally leans up against it. Uh, then we got, you know, these, the Wonder Tonic and Wonder, Wonder branded stuff, salt root tabs plant anchors uh flourish tabs yeah we've got frozen foods in here nothing too exciting all similar similar tropical mix discus veggie cube effects tropical quintet i feel like there should be another one one two three four five. oh no there is five i just can't count properly and then there's my prawns i feed to the big followers that i'll show you in a sec this one we've got the filter media i love i'm really on the on the hype train for that that stuff the biochem zorb is absolutely insane for just water polishing basically and we've got the crystal clear matrix internal filters and skimmers and stuff filter wool eheim heaters under there that's obviously not supposed to go there but i'll tidy that up tomorrow got the aqua one heaters um and then the gravel vax that's fallen off man i should have cleaned up the shop before i done this but too late now um and gravel vax and then we got the peacocks and haps refer to the latest video or one of the recent videos on facebook if you're wondering why this this tank is so light um did lose a bunch which was pretty gunning and i'm still pretty upset about it why part but not all of the reason why i've had a pretty crap the past few days really um lost lost a few of my favorites plus i mean it's never fun losing fish as, as it is peacefully that's grown well uh, i get a lot of questions about this tank this tank sucks at the moment but it is going to be clark's tank who if you come in on thursdays you can meet clark he's going to do a black water tank for you guys um i don't know when he gets a moment but it looks pretty boring at the moment a few random sword tails and stuff but it will be cool don't you worry We'll turn slowly, and boom, we got the Sierra canister filters. Absolutely in love with these things. Best canister filters around, if you ask me. Got a big old green severum and a rainbow shark in this tunnel. Plus, there's a few bristle noses in here. Then up top, we got the fader, super red dragon flower horn, and the green terror. Pretty aggro, guys, but really, really beautiful. Uh, honestly, stunning. This side we've got a, another big green severum, couple convicts, and a red tail shark. Beauties. Sorry, that was a random cut. Uh, I thought there was someone outside coming in, but there wasn't. Um, but yeah, this is a random tank. Convex, electric blow car, severum that we're, I mean, no, not severum. Silver dollar, we're getting back to full health before we move them along. Stuff like that. This tank here is a bit of a kind of odd odds and ends rescue tank um any random stuff that gets traded in goes in here or surrendered rather goes in here and then we find it a new home so this is the stuff from this weekend 
Uh, plus there's some other uh, Emperor Tetras that are cool, but the rest is just random stuff that has been surrendered over the past few days. Got some guppies and platies and stuff. X-ray Tetras and honey garamis. Oh, look at all these female bedders. Got a ton of female bedders plus penguin tetras. Uh, got longfin albino, uh, longfin gold bristlenose, I think they are. Oh no, albino. Um, up here we got all sorts of just random, pretty low quality Africans. Just random OBs and uh, random mixed and boners and stuff. The only things, there's some nice Venustas females. Um, got a Yasisha in here I'm growing out. But, oh, some Flavis, few Flavis in here. I don't know where they are. I'm not gonna, even going to try find them. But the rest is just pretty junk that's just waiting for someone. This tank, I'm just looking after the fish for somebody. So I won't show you what's in here. But there's like some, actually, well, there's like some nice Episto Trifasciata. And there is a Zebra Pleco in here somewhere. You know, we're never going to see it. But I'm told there is one in here. And there was one when I put it in there. Plus green neons, emetetras, autos, all that kind of thing. The plants, man, that plant tank is looking lush if I do say so myself. Random live bearers, move the ladder, but yeah, random live bearers and stuff. And this is angelfish, cherry barbs, golden barbs. These angels, I really love angels. I'm on a bit of an angel kick at the moment, but yeah, there's all those kind of things. A few bristle noses and such. Um, over here we've got platies munching on some rapashi plus a better and that's about it in that tank this tank we've got the koi guppies very heavy on the females probably should have been selling them in pairs but if you want koi guppy females plus there is a few males I know I know a guy uh, we've got gold laser quarries a couple pygmy quarries a couple bristle noses that's about it this side we've got platies and silver tip tetras. I just love platies. You'll notice there's a lot of platies around. I think they're perfect fish for beginners. Like they're bright and colorful, but they're easy. They'll breed readily, but you won't get swamped with them like guppies. Just fantastic fish. This one we've got Episto Nassini, uh, Kythet, Danios, and some pink tail guppies. Pla yeah, that's about it in that tank. This tank, oh, we've got a pair of big bristle noses that I can't get out of that cave to give the cave back to who gave it to me, but that's a problem for another day. But we've got big bristle noses plus sword tails and a better this tank. Oh, that's pretty cloudy, it's all full of food. But bronze quarries, albino quarries, paldanos, rosy tetras, guppies, sword tail, maybe a better somewhere. That's about it. Here we've got apple snails and green fire tetras, lovely jovely. Here we've got stub eyes and black widow tetras. Uh, down here we've got oh these awesome, very beautiful, big uh, wild caught bleeding heart tetras, plus some bristle noses, uh, neon dwarf rainbows, serpe tetras, a couple of dolphi quarries. Be about it in that tank. This tank is Crebensa Central. Like a million Crebensis, but you know, I like Crebensis, but f I, I always say for every one Crebensis I sell, I probably get about 50 surrendered. So I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with all them, but there's more. I'll show you the next lot. Um, here we've got Electric Blue Akara, Pallet Garami, Scissor Tail Raspora, Blue Rainbows, Red Phantoms, a couple Rosy t no, Rosy. No, checker barbs, uh, more bristle noses, a few, yeah, that's about it. Here we've got striata loaches and some more, what are those called, crebensis. We've got, in here's normally white clouds and uh, flying foxes and bettas and stuff, but as you can see, there's not much left. Here we've got the gold flying foxes and the black phantoms and usually gold white clouds, but obviously none left. Here we've got, oh, we've got the pea puffers in here. Love me some pea puffers. You can actually see them now. I've been redoing their tanks, so they're a bit more user-friendly. Um, so you can, they, if you're not aware, this tank always has Sino, so you can never see the fish. But yeah, wow, that's probably the best footage I've ever got of them. Beauty. 
Here we've got the Arandas, Aranda Goldfish. Um, obviously not tropical, but, you know, uh, awesome fish nonetheless. I'm on a bit of a goldfish kick at the moment, so that's a problem. Um, someone sort me out. Here we've got the black calvis that have gone, but they're just waiting to be picked up. Um, same with this, oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see him. Oh, you just saw the end of his tail. There's a, uh, through there, there's Jolodochromus transcriptus. Beautiful fish, I love them. They don't get the love they deserve, I reckon. You never see them kept right. Here we've got yellow labs and Demisoni. Uh, neither of them are massively good quality, but they were all surrendered to me, so... You know, can't complain, but if you want them, they'll be gone for free, so, you know, bring a bucket. Here we've got some peacocks and haps. What's nice in here? Tawani Reef, uh, Pearl, OB, no, Platinum OBI Biter, SP44, uh, Eureka Reds, some nice stuff in there. Man, that tank's gross. Um, this tank's all filled with food, obviously, but we've got real nice blue dolphins. I love me some blue dolphins, um, more OBI biters, obviously Venusus, bunch of other stuff like that. Um, so yeah, oh this is my pitcher plant, I don't know if it's the world's happiest but there is, oh you probably can't see it, but there is flies in there so it must be happy enough. I'll turn around slowly. But we've got pro bugs, freeze dried foods, this is all the Sierra foods. Sierra's probably my favorite of the like middle middle brands, um, like cheap but good enough quality. Um, JBL, we will be cutting JBL, so if you've made it this far in the video, come and tell me the word orange juice and I'll give it to you, JBL, any JBL foods half price. Um, but yeah, we're cutting JBL so because it's basically the same as Sierra, uh, I, but I prefer Sierra. Um, but we're going to be cutting JBL so we can get more Nilo Spectrum in, um, just space-wise. So, tell me Orange Juice if you've watched this far and you can have it all 50% off, whatever you want. And down here we've got some Spiderwood slash Blackwater Supplies, Alder Cones and Katapa Leaves. This way we've got ornaments. Ornaments, oh I love these ornaments. The Hobbit House, bit of a train. Pleco Caves. Fake plants, yeah. This is the this is the military section. We got helicopters, tanks, airplanes, battleships, fake plants, and this is the art section. Um, do a lot of these are the uh, CC's art um, resin resin things where you can like you know it looks like it's swimming, it looks like it's 3D. They're pretty cool, but they're not. Um, I wouldn't put them underwater, but they are pretty cool. And we got Penny, hello Penzies, the Asian Arowana, bunch of Oscars, all the uh, couple Plecos and Nornate Baisha. Well, these two have been up to the, they've been doing the dirty if you will, so that's a problem for another day, but yeah. Then we got the rocks, everyone loves some rocks. So that's them all there, all the different ones. I want to get more of this layer rock, this one here. I love it. Uh, I just think it's so cool. I bought it as a tester, and it all like the first person who came in since it arrived bought like almost all of it. There's three rocks left, so I'm gonna have to get myself some more. Turn slowly. We got the larger bits of spider wood, new life spectrum. Hey, that's different. That's supposed to be cichlid. Huh. Where did that come from? I'm sure I'll figure that out later, but that's not a problem for right now. We've got the free dried insects. I love this stuff, by the way. If you're keeping big fish, like arowanas, oscars, um, datnoids, all that kind of thing, this is beauty. Then the rapashi that I freaking love. You cannot beat rapashi. It's literally impossible. Hands down, best food on the market. And then we've got the goldfish food. That is at the top and I believe the lucky la. So if I've forgotten anything that you want to see, please do let me know. I'd be more than happy to jump on and show it to you guys. Otherwise, I think that's about it for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed a little walkthrough to it. Something I did get requested the other day and realized it's not something I do much of. A lot of people don't realize we actually sell fish just because we don't sell them through the website. Um, that's actually a topic I'm going to be covering this week, hopefully. Uh, make a little video talking about why I don't sell them via the website. It's it's not 
okay we'll save that for the actual video obviously um but yeah i mean that's that's about all i had you guys i hope you enjoyed please make sure to like and subscribe it really helps us out and i won't take up any more any more of your time thank you all for watching and i'll catch you in the next one love ya